The Azores consist of nine volcanic islands in the North Atlantic that have emerged due to the convergence of three tectonic plates. This volcanic activity is responsible for the creation of the captivating habitats on land and underwater. In 2009, we last visited the Azores. Back then, we were simply overwhelmed by the sheer diversity of marine mammals that could be encountered within just a few nautical miles. Fourteen years later, we are not only aiming to film dolphins and whales off the islands of Pico and Fayal, but we are also on the hunt for the mobula rays at the Princess Alice Bank and the blue sharks at the Condor Bank. All these creatures thrive here due to the abundant food in the water facilitated by favorable currents near the Azores. Setting sail from the Madalena Harbor at 3 a.m. on our boat, Naurobla, we reach the Princess Alice Bank shortly after sunrise. Here, we want to dive with the Mobula Rays for two days. Mobula rays are like the birds of the underwater world, gracefully gliding through the deep blue. Similar to their relatives, the mantas, they filter the nutrient-rich water as they move. Unfortunately, much like mantas, they face the threat of overfishing due to the demand for their gill plates which are highly prized in Asian markets. The magical moments we've had with the Mobula rays in the past two days could potentially be surpassed by encounters with the famous blue sharks at the Condor Bank. However, before our return to Pico Island, our captain, Emmanuel, who has guided BBC underwater filming for the production of Blue Planet 2, tells us that he hasn't had significant encounters with blue sharks at the Condor Bank this year. This news worries us, as the Condor Bank has been considered a safe spot for diving with blue sharks over the past decade. Apart from sharks, the waters of the Azores are home to a variety of equally fascinating marine creatures. Sperm whales and their calves can be found there throughout the year. Since the mother needs to feed, she dives multiple times a day, descending into the depths for up to 40 minutes to hunt for prey. During this time, the calf remains alone and unprotected on the surface expressing its displeasure at the absence of its mother. To the south of Pico, a school of Rizos dolphins swims near the coast. These can be easily identified by their white, scarred skin.
These friendly spotted dolphins are only found around the Azores in the summer. Nature is not a zoo, and things often don't go as planned, as was the case with our visit to the Condor Bank. In such situations, having someone as experienced as Captain Emmanuel on board is invaluable. He knows the waters perfectly and can guide us to an alternative dive site. Blue sharks are fundamentally shy creatures. To capture them on camera, they need to be lured with the scent of fish waste and kept near the divers so that they don't lose interest and retreat to the depths of the ocean. Just like 14 years ago, we are leaving the Azores with unique memories once again. The vibrant Azorean waters are an incredible treasure that must be preserved. However, amid the joy of intense underwater encounters, there's also a sense of concern as we bid farewell, whether the blue sharks will return to the Condor Bank. We sincerely hope that their absence in the summer of 2023 is merely a natural fluctuation and not linked to the still extremely high fishing pressure on this migratory shark species.